Welcome back to the Barrack Channel, welcome to another video. Uh, we are again at Sunwood and we've done a couple of videos here at Sunwood before. There's one about excavator production and there's one about aeroplanes. Um, we'll link those up here in the description. We're here today to look at a few uh, of their newer things. We're going to look at um, an electric excavator and also uh, a kind of impact crusher. And this is a machine that takes large rocks and crushes it into kind of gravel. So uh, it should be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how, how this operates. Look at the size of these hydraulic pistons, man. They're massive. Holy moly. This ain't your baby kind of factory, is it? Well, I mean, look at this, what they're working on here. This is the impact crusher. Yeah, I know. Just, just the Basically, rocks are dropped into there, big rocks, and at that end comes kind of pea gravel. But yeah, and they do at, that. Yeah. They do that because when they're working on big projects, they've got loads of like leftover rocks that they can't get yeah, rid of, yeah. haven't they? It's, it's easier to transport it. It's in gravel form than in big rocks. But look at this, man. That is just... There's some serious controls going on in there, isn't there? Look at that. I hope this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> so yeah, the purpose of this is basically just to turn huge rocks into gravel yeah. so it's easier to transport. And they use this massive machine. Go and stand next to it for some perspective. Yeah, so this is like, you know. <laughs> it's kind of big. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's huge. Holy moly. It's massive, isn't it? Wow. That's uh... They're not really doing your... They're not really doing your little baby plastic machines here, are no, they? No, no, this is, this is real big, big machinery, isn't it? There's another one here, look. This one's obviously one they're kind of servicing by the looks of it, but there's a brand new one here. So, I'll just give you a few small facts about this machinery here. So this is the rock crusher. Basically, rock is put oh, into yeah. there. It comes through here, processed in here, and this conveyor then spits out the gravel. Now, interestingly, this factory can make about two of these machines per month in production and these machines weigh 58 tons each but staggeringly they're able to process between 120 and 150 tons of rock per hour and I think that's pretty amazing I'm the I'm gonna have a I climb up here onto the control deck. Ollie's coming up onto the control deck in the machine. Yeah. So basically what will happen is the rock will be dropped into here. Big rocks. Using like probably another one of their huge diggers. Yeah, there'll be a big excavator that's loading rock into here. You fall into here. It goes into here. This is the bit that's the strong bit. It'll grind it off. It'll then come down here, pass through here, and uh, it'll come out as kind of pea gravel on that conveyor belt. And that conveyor belt, there'll probably be a lorry that drives underneath there. It'll go straight into the lorry. I mean, this is a this is a serious big piece of machinery, isn't it? It's huge. You get a great view of the factory up here as well. Yeah. Let me give you a little. So you got um, over here. You got welding going on, and then obviously welding up all the uh, the main structure pieces. And then over here, you've actually got assembly. I mean, I mean this is... you can't see, but that factory goes back a long, long way, oh, like yeah, yeah. maybe 500 meters or something like that. I wonder how many people they've got in here at one time. It looks oh, like a lot. This is proper heavy machine manufacturing. I mean, I don't know what that is. That looks like it's part of the, the central crushing bit, but you know, you've got a serious kit here. 
No, complete 58 tons. That's yeah, that, that one's obviously being serviced because it's all being used yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. this is a brand new one that's super clean. So this is uh, one of their large pile drivers and um, you can just see by the size of the guys to the machine how big it is. And what they're doing here, they're getting it commissioned. It's obviously been sold to a customer and they're commissioning it and configuring it. So it looks like it looks like what they're doing is that they're, they're going to fix the um, the head onto the pile driving shaft. So obviously, different customers probably have different specifications for what they want. But you can just see how even the size of the head is as big as the guy standing there. You can just see from me how big this machine is. You know, it's like huge. And uh, this is what, when, when, when you sort of have large buildings, you need to drive large walls into the ground and they fill them with concrete to underpin the foundations or the structure of the building. And that's what these machines do. And yeah. right now there's a lot of these in Shenzhen. I was just about to say that, in Shenzhen at the moment, these are everywhere. And you can, you can often wake up in the morning to a sound by these pile drivers because they're building new metro lines they, they probably building drive, new buildings yeah they probably drive holes you know 20 or 30 meters deep in the ground which they then fill with steel and concrete to give buildings or things a strong foundation but that is a that is a big one that is that is a real big one yeah that is a big boy you got some serious health and safety issues when you're using equipment like this haven't you Oh yeah, you could you could kill multiple people in minutes, couldn't you? If you just go crush, on the rampage in one of them, just crush everything in its way. Yeah, they're huge. Right, well, we're about to go and see an electric excavator somewhere, so we're yeah. uh, getting on our way to that. Before Dad actually controlled a a huge excavator remotely through 5G technology and we made a whole video on it. It was a great video, so I will link it up here if you're interested in watching these Sunwood videos so what around are these? big machinery. Yeah, so what we were talking about earlier about pile drivers in, in Shenzhen, this is actually one in operation, there's two in operation here. This is where they test them. These sort of large brown things, these are the different size cutters they put on. So, uh, can we just have a look? Can we have a look? So these are the these are the cutters, and they will put them onto the ends of these. That one's a baby. What impresses me here is that they have so many different models they manufacture. You know, they cover like from the massive quarry markers to the sort of with these small excavators, almost like the people building their own house and just need a little one to do. Yeah, like yeah. Oh, look at the engine on this man. Big dog that is. Ah, that's a baby that is. I mean, a bit, well, yeah, I mean, like in terms of the engineering. Yeah, that's, uh, the engineering. Right behind me, this is one of the first electric excavators. Now, I got a bit confused about this. When they talked about electric excavator, I thought they meant they had batteries in it, but they don't have batteries. What they actually do, 
That is connect to a three-phase electricity supply on a on this huge cable. So I was a bit surprised at what really the benefits of that was. And actually, just before I go on to that, this is the, the electric motor here, which runs all that, and, and that will power the hydraulics. But what it is, it's more of a, a clean energy thing. So rather than having like, you know, mo most of them normally run on a diesel engine and, and stuff like that. But this runs on electric. Obviously, you have to have a tether to the electric. So there will be some situations where you can't use an electric, but it's a lot quieter. The vibrations are a lot less, so the, the uh, maintenance is lower. And obviously, it's a, it's a clean energy thing. I think, I think the big drive is that it, it uses a clean energy, so you're not polluting the... Uh, and the if you had a load of those with, like, low noise, you could, if you were doing it in an area that's really built up, you could seriously reduce the noise in that yeah, area, so couldn't you, which would be good. Yeah, noise pollution yeah. as well, which is, which is always a good thing. That'd be very interesting, and uh, it seems as though Ollie's going to have a, a bit of a drive of an excavator now. Are you excited about that, dude? I am, yeah, that would be kind of cool, yeah. having a drive and a, of an excavator. Yeah, so I, I had a, a go on a, a 5G one a few weeks back, so we'll leave a card for that up here if you want to check that one out. But Ollie's going to have a go, so go for it, man. So uh, Ollie's going to have a go in this. It's, it's not a baby, it's a kind of mid one. So. Uh, Oh. So what do you think, big man? I think I'm on a construction site and I'm about to build oh, a building. I going to have a play in the toy. All right, so there's a video at Sunwood uh, where we're just kind of looking around the cool advanced uh, heavy machinery that they've got and I managed to cop a little go at a, an excavator which was cool so hopefully you enjoyed that as much even half as much as I did um, that'll be the end of this video we will probably be back here again in the future as we said links to the other Sunwood videos are in the description um, as well as everything you know else like the social links and all that we will see you in the next one for now, take care.